Hey guys, I'm gonna give it a couple minutes just so we can have some time for everybody kind of to log on. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Those of you that don't know, I am Sarah Fulraff. I work for Mirabella as one of the top educators, but as well as a sales executive. So those of you that have talked to a Sarah in sales, that's me. So today we are going to go over a couple of things. I hope you guys are enjoying these mini sessions because I know I am. They fill up some educational time that we definitely need to do right now. So I'm going to cover finishing powders as well as the color correct the sculpting duos as well as the blush duos. So let's go over a couple of the details here. First and foremost, make sure you are sanitizing your hands, which I already have, but I also have some Clorox wipes as well. I'm a little OCD about that right now, specifically now. So I'm always wiping my hands down, making sure everything is sanitized. I have already wiped down all of my product as well. So it is all cleaned and prepped and ready for use. But first, let's go for some tips on our color correcting as well as our perfecting. So things to remember is sanitation wise, let's start with this beauty here. This is our perfecting, if you noticed. So it comes with this cute little sponge, right? This is my personal use one, so it has a little bit of foundation, you guys will see, but it does have this sponge-like feel. I want you guys to make sure, do not use this on your client, because it will not be sanitized that for, for pro tips, okay? For at-home use, you're more than welcome to use this, but I do recommend shampooing this at least once a week, just to get any of that residue off. That way you're not going back and forth with um, getting anything dirty-wise, okay? But pro tip wise, do not use that. You need to use a sponge. You can use, can grab it here. You can use one of these little beautiful things, but you also can get these little puffers. You can pick some of these puffers up and you're able to use those as well, okay? But they always have to be thrown away after each use. You can't be double dipping or anything. So when you do need to get the product out, what you're gonna do, is have a palette. I like my little hand palette right here and you can actually just tap this out and that's what you're gonna use. By doing that, you're not gonna be going back and forth and contaminating anything. So, little tidbits about, let me see if I can get this so I can see comments. There we go. So, little information about this. Super lightweight, it's transparent, so it's not gonna show any white powder on the skin. It's very translucent, but it also is gonna help set your makeup. I used it today, I'm kind of a stickler for it, so the makeup doesn't crease. I get the creases in my forehead. As soon as I put my foundation on, I press it in, and you can do that with the Kabuki brush, powder brush, you have these ones, and you have your powder brush, or you can also use your dual finishing brush as well to get any of that dusting right over. But for creasing under here, you're gonna best fit is a sponge to take that and press that in to the skin, okay? Um, please don't judge, quarantine's got me really good right now. <sighs> Can't do anything about it yet. So, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Ingredients, I wanna tell you, so perfecting powder, we have the anti-aging for peptide, we have for antioxidant, we have vitamin A and vitamin E, and we have the glyrosine for the hermectant, we have the light diffusing, which is the mica, and then we have silica, which is gonna be your oil absorbent. So it will help to absorb all of that oil, that way you are not getting any of that oily residue throughout the day and it'll help keep that makeup set throughout the whole day. Let's move on. 
If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. We do have all of our other girls, Sarah, Lynn, and Sarin are all on to help ask and answer any questions that you guys may have while we're doing these. So, next, this beauty, if I can get it open, this one right here. So, we usually get a lot of questions about this, and they're usually, how do I use it? What is it for? One, it is to help set your makeup, okay? You can use it. You can use the powder brush, again, the large powder brush, or using our new one here, okay? What you're gonna do is, if you're gonna just dust it on the entire face, make sure that you are taking a clean wipe, okay? Clean. This is a brand new palette, but you're gonna wipe it clean, okay? To get off any kind of bacteria, any possibility of any dusting that's been on there, okay? Then what you're gonna do is take a clean brush, okay? Clean. Swirl it once, close it, and dust it all the way over, and then you're done. No double dipping. Please do not double dip, okay? Once this is used, you cannot go back in. This brush has to be cleaned, or you can scrape it out, right? Scraping, you're gonna take each color and use them for spot treating. So normally what I would do is take a little spatula, scrape it out, and put it on my good old, wherever it just went. Hmm. Anyways, my palette, so I'd scrape it out of my palette, and then I'm going to take my wet to dry brush. Let me grab my wet to dry brush here. So here's your wet to dry brush. And what you're going to do is whatever color you're wanting to cancel out. So say you have your broken capillaries or you have a little bit of purpling under here from dark circles or kids don't let us sleep, whatever it may be you're gonna scrape these out. So if you have some purple, it's the same thing as our color wheel. So those of us that do hair, use the opposite of the color. So if you wanna cancel purple out, when we color hair with brassy yellows, we use violets. Or you know we have, we have reds, we use greens to cancel it out, and vice versa. So it's always the opposite of your color wheel, okay? So you're gonna scrape it out. You have purple tones under here, scrape out some of this yellow. And then you're going to take your brush and you're gonna press it in. And then you're going to literally press in and it'll help to dilute all of those tones. They're always to help correct, okay? That's what's really great about this. There is a sponge in here. I don't normally recommend using it, especially for pros, do not use it. Um, if you're at home use, you can cut it up and use it per color, that would be easy but normally I would never recommend using the sponge because you can't sanitize it, okay? Let's see here. So special ingredients with the color corrector. We have mica and then ahoba and then triglyceride. I think I said that right. <laughs> um, so great things about this, obviously refer to your color wheel, but it is a translucent powder as well. It's going to help brighten that skin, but also even any of your skin tone problems, dark circles, your pigment color pigmentations, it will help diminish that. It does help cover bruising as well. It takes a little bit of extra time, but it does work. Promise. Then let's get down to our blush duos. So I do apologize. I'm missing one of them. Pretty sure my daughter snatched it, but I do have the Beloved and Darling, okay? Let me block this. And then we have, <clears throat> maybe. Here is the Sugar and Baby Doll. And then one of my favorites, this is the Sweetheart and Babe. So, Sweetheart and Babe is what I actually I have on today, and I just went very, very soft. I went to the apples of my cheeks and brought it back. One little trick you can do is just smile, and that's where you're going to know where to go. 
but also great thing about our blush duos so it has the mica the jojoba and the triglyceride again but it's great to do a couple extra things so today i went ahead and i have eyeshadow on but it's blush today instead. So I wanted to kind of play around with our blushes and just let you guys know, you can use them. They're super versatile. You can even apply them to your lips and then apply a clear lip gloss over it. So today I put the Beloved and Darling on for my eye color, which is really, really neat because I can just create some depth to it. I, I did add a little bit of our brown from one of our the Undressed palette, and then I do have a sculpting highlight on today too, and I'll explain that as well. But they blend really, really smooth. They are a high pigmented tone, so as soon as you get that on the brush, make sure you are careful. I do highly, highly recommend for pros that you scrape it out and you put it on your tablet, on your palette, so you are not double dipping. And you can use two different blush brushes. So I like to use my blush brush. Sorry, guys. So I like to use my blush brush right here. This is one of my go-to favorites. But you are also able to use our powder brush too. But I do recommend, because it is pretty thick here, to pinch it down a little bit. So you're able to get that nice brush strokes, but it's not through the whole entire face, okay? So make sure you are pinching if you are using this brush. It is, they are available in matte and shimmer shades, okay? They are going to be a very soft, healthy glow and not overkill. Then, let's see here. I wanna make sure. So sculpting duos. Those of you who like to highlight and contour, my favorite, but also remember highlighting and contouring are just to enhance and to just create that nice illusion of a highlight of a higher cheekbone, but also just give you that elongation if you don't have that, okay? So let's get down to these gorgeous pieces. So our sculpting duos, again, have mica and the jojoba and triglyceride as well. You can apply to any desired space on the face. So contouring. A lot of times we like to contour right through here. We can go down to this area and then right through here. Some of us like to do right in here. Wherever you'd like to diminish and hide, that's where you want to do that contour. So a nice trick for learning consumer is you can do the sunken in, you can make the fish face and it will create that nice gap on where you need to go or just kind of have that angle where you want to have that diminishing. If you feel like it's too round, add a little bit of that shadow and it'll start to concave that in. So it'll give that illusion of that elongation. We want it to make, make you look like you have that oval face shape. Okay. So colors, we have, I'm going to cover that. This is the Love Struck and Destiny. This is going to be more of your cooler tone. It has a nice shade here. These are my personal ones, so I'm able to do this. I'm going to swatch this for you. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. So it's really pretty. Very, very soft, healthy glow. You can use these to help brighten. They're great for eyeshadows for the summer, just to have that nice, healthy glow. This is our Fate and Serendipity. This is gonna be more of your warmer tone. And it's not as shimmery as our Fate. So, the Fate's a little bit softer, okay? Kind of hard to tell with my skin tone. We'll have to get a better shade there. There you go. It's got more of that soft, whiter highlight. And then hugs and kisses. Okay. 
Hugs and Kisses is our completely matte sculpting duo. Very cool, so perfect for contouring. And also, really, really awesome spot is to highlight right through here, but this is great for the brow bone, and it's great for an eyeshadow, okay? Mm -hmm. You can also use this for an eyebrow filler. So, little tidbits, okay? But you can apply, all of our lighter shades are to enhance. So, all of your highlights wanna go right through here. You can put some right through here in the corner, right on this T-zone area down the nose, right on the cupid's bow, and some do like to highlight right through here, it's preference, but I always prefer going right through here just to have that nice definition, and then also highlight on that cheekbone area. Today, I did put the, con I actually concealed it first, just to kind of have that nice white palette, and I did actually use the Fate and Serendipity, um, and I went with that highlight right through here, just to have that pop of color, but you can do your matte shades for IR, which like I said, are your ideal for contouring. If you want that healthy, natural glow, definitely go with the Fate and Serendipity and also your, um, let me open these up here. These Love Struck and Destiny, these are gonna be your ones for that nice, healthy glow, okay? Making sure you use those. You're gonna get those nice glows, but I wanna put them up, so just so you guys can see the comparison of the tones, okay? Between cool and warm, okay? It does give you that nice coppery bronzed feel, which is great what we want for summer. Let's be real, it's springtime, we all want that during quarantine. So these are really, really great, quick. You can do a full face of makeup without using your foundation. You can do your lip colors, your highlights, your blushes, and your eye tones all in one sitting as, long, as well as your eyebrows, which is great for right now. This, that's what we want, something quick and easy. You don't always have to go with that full blast of makeup, okay? I do wanna go over a couple things though. Um, making sure that you are sanitizing and cleaning especially right now we are in that time of making sure it's even more important than ever to make sure you're having all of your makeup your product all clean I always like to take a wipe a clean Clorox wipe and wipe down that outside as well as the rim of everything I don't touch the makeup with the Clorox wipe because I do not want to dry it out I don't want to affect, I don't need to touch that with alcohol, but I do also like to wipe any of this outside plastic parts with a Clorox wipe just to make sure it's all cleansed and clean, especially for touching. Making sure, like I told you guys earlier, anything palette wise for a powder needs to be wiped down. So when you do go to open it before even use of scraping it out, you're going to take your and you're literally just going to wipe it off, okay? Always make sure you're wiping them off and cleaning before use. Great brushes, these are great. This is the Sculpting Foundation and Contouring Brush. This brush is awesome, not only for foundation, but it is a great brush for the contouring. I know some of us like to use our blush, our dual finishing powder brush, and you can pinch it, and it gives you that nice soft line, but it'll also blend. You also can use this beauty right here because it is nice and angled and you can get it and you just brush it right down and it will still soften. You will need to brush up and a little bit brushing down just so you have that nice blend and you don't have any straight lines. We don't want any streaks, okay? Highlighting brush. This is the beautiful fan brush that Serene had talked to you guys about. This is great to go in after you have scraped your highlight out onto your palette. You can just dust it and you're gonna wipe it down and then you're going to just softly fan. Another really, really neat idea, if you don't want to use the fan brush or you don't have a fan brush, you actually can use our Pro Eye Blender that comes in our kit. You can 
put that in, dust it, and just lightly brush it back and forth. And that'll give you a very, very soft highlight as well. And it also is a little bit finer, so you're able to get right where you need to on the cupid's bow and on the tips of the nose. Some of us highlight on the tip. I personally do not. There is no wrong way or right way of doing that. You're more than welcome to highlight on the tip of the nose. I don't. My nose is already pointed. I don't want to look like that. I can't do that. So I only, I always just do right through here and then I stop right, uh, the, right here, right before I get to that peak. So any questions? For some reason, mine is like, won't let me see any of these. So we'll see here. I'm sure if we do, oh, I don't think you want to see that. There we go. So if you guys do have any questions for us, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We are here to help, but we are also definitely encouraging you guys to do the go-bella for information and also go to the marabellabeauty.com. We have tons of information on all of our products, but we are also here to help. So if you guys do need us, don't hesitate we will help you. And then we do have some more mini classes coming up and I hope you guys enjoy. And I loved being here for our mini session. And I hope you guys enjoyed every bit of information you've gotten so far with all of our other sessions. We have more to go. And like I said, this is only day four. So enjoy and have a wonderful day and keep trucking along and we will get through this craziness. You guys have a great day. Bye.